All right, guys, we got another fixer up for you. I think the last one we brought you was at like pretty much Teardown House over in Kaneohe, uh, which we were able to get sold at a great price for our seller. But now we got this one is more of a fixer up or not tear down in any shape or form. Actually, this is a townhome, so obviously you wouldn't be able to tear it down. Um, but this is a gut job, needs a full on remodel. Um, but in a great, great neighborhood, this uh, project over here, right on Enchanted Lake, known as Kukila Kila. And um, let's go check it out. So this is kind of courtyard area right here. There's been a lot of unique things done to this home um, that are out of the ordinary. So kind of coming in the front door to our right here is what was originally a half bathroom, but they went ahead and extended out a little bit into the patio area and added the shower. So now uh, full bathroom number one over here, you know, kind of dated, but very, very livable still just needs a kind of a good cleanup. Um, and then coming in as you walk in the door to your left here would be the kitchen right so kitchen original shape over here um you know but not a huge kitchen so it wouldn't be too pricely on the remodel here normally this had opened up into another living area here however they kind of enclosed this added the door calling this another bedroom here has the sliding glass door that leads out to the front entrance patio area over here and then normally there was just a full wall here another add-on they added another full bathroom here that kind of extended out into the garage so full bath here number two this almost acts as if a master bedroom here on the ground floor where all the other bedrooms are upstairs but so kind of let's check out the garage so if you come out here this is into uh, the garage area now, the interesting part is, even with this hole, and if you kind of come out this way and look in, you'll see well how this was boxed and framed out to add on, um, kind of right here is where that bathroom is. And you could still get two cars in here. So, pretty cool. And if you gave your, you could almost even use that as a separate rental with its own entrance if you gave your tenant access to the garage. So, a lot of kind of cool things you could do with this property. You know, seeing that potential dual income on one property is always a huge thing that people look for, especially in Hawaii when the price of homes are so high. Um, so kind of cool there. We're going to take you back in through the front door here. So coming in, stairs leading upstairs, and then you have your living area here. Now this wall was added in too because there is another room back there, and typically this was opened up. Um, but big old living area here. I've seen some of the remodels even where they kind of extend the kitchen out this way, making it bigger. You could throw an island in. Um, all kinds of fun things you can do to bring this up to date of what people like to see in the current construction with newer homes. And then this area here, um, this was a boxed inland eye area here. So there's no lighting here. Normally there were sliding glass doors here. Um, so this can all easily be opened back up and create a big living area out, out here. Um, so a little patio, patio area out here. So this is 1,800 square feet, um, calling it a five bedroom, four full bathrooms depending on how and what you would do when purchasing it, maybe bring it back to just the four and two, two and a half baths. But let's go upstairs, check it out up there. Honestly, a place like this, I always tell people, you know, you do a fresh coat of paint and new flooring alone always changes everything. And if this was gonna be something you would live in to keep your own, you could see a lot of value with this home. So we've seen townhomes at this square footage in this project sell as high as 1.6 million. So we're listed at 1.249 now. The seller is going to be dropping the price 20,000 every week until this unit is sold. So um, I think, you know, full on remodel, maybe 150 grand, get it up to point, still be a lot of room left to make money on the sell side or keep you in all in with what under market value would be if you were to buy this and fix it up 
and keep it to be something that you would keep for your family and use. Um, because it's in such a great neighborhood, so people will look to do that. But uh, continuing on, coming into the master bed here. Nice, sizable bedroom. It's got its own private lanai here. Um, this room is equipped with a split AC unit. And then you have the ensuite here where you have the bathroom toilet in there behind the door with a vanity right here in the room. You know, to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of this scenario just because Chelsea and I have lived in homes before where the vanity is outside the actual bathroom and out of the door. If you got one partner getting up earlier than the other, then they're dealing with the lights and stuff like that. Been there, done it, don't love it. Um, so again, always pointing out everything the way we see it to you. Um, bedroom number three over here, uh, it appears right next to the master bedroom, but the way they designed it is proper. They put the closet here, so at least there isn't a directly shared wall there. Split AC unit installed in this room currently as well. Um, and a nice big window here that kind of leads out into the community there. So elementary school right across the street. Again, you're in Kailua, great, great, highly desirable community. Um, <clears throat> and then you got your two other bedrooms over here, additional full bath here. So two full baths downstairs, two full baths upstairs. And then we got bedroom here and then a mirroring bedroom on the other side. And come on out. Um, both of these bedrooms have access to a nice big lanai area out here, right? So you got that patio front entrance area. The master's got its own lanai. These two bedrooms have their own lanai. A lot of functional space out here. Um, get some views of some of the mountains out back there. Olamana to my left. Nice views. Um, so this is a very sizable town home. I believe, you know, there, there, there's a lot of sweat equity you could put into this if you're one of those guys who likes to come get a home, rehab it yourself. There is a lot of value to be had in this property here. Uh, me and Chelsea personally, we love projects like this. We're just tied up with some other things right now. Otherwise, I would consider buying this one myself. But if you want to see it or you want to check it out, um, you know what to do. Our information is down below. Give us a call, shoot us an email, shoot us a text. We love showing people homes. We love putting people in good scenarios. And um, with this one, I think the timing could be right. You get it at the right price, you fix it up. By the time those interest rates start coming back down in the next year to 18 months, home values are gonna shoot up again, and we're gonna see this home be valued at a very nice price once those um, interest rates come back down. So again, I've seen homes sold in this project over $1.6 million. We're offered at 1.249. We're gonna be dropping the price $20,000 every seven days until this unit is sold. So if you think it might work for you, give us a call. We'll take you over and check it out. I'm gonna